apart and there was no way out. A lot of innocent lives were being lost. And we had no hope at the end of the tunnel. There was only one hand that could held our heads high above the water. And that, that could show that there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, friends, we are talking about our very dear medical team, the one that has helped us surpass this epidemic and, and become, a survive, become a savior for the mankind. So, hello everyone, I am Dr. Anil Chetri and today I bring you the third session of Insider Speak program and we have a very distinguished guest Mr. Minmoy Das, who is the director and the operational head of Andalok Hospital. So we welcome you, sir, on board with us. Thank you, Dr. Chetri. Thank you. Thanks for your time. Yeah. Thank you. Sir, and I would like to, you to share a few uh, lines about yourself so that the audience can have a better connection with you, sir. Okay. Thank you. First of all, uh, I, thanks, uh, I thank once again to the Inspiria Knowledge Campus Management and that uh, the team and the students uh, for inviting me uh, to come to your campus and uh, talk few words on uh, hospital administration and hospital management this is uh, really a great opportunity for me thank you so much yeah thanks and uh, uh, this is i start with this like uh, the if doctors are God, and uh, doctors are God, and uh, the healthcare management people are friends to the doctor, so you can say that you are very close to the God. So this is a very noble uh, profession, and uh, this is very demanding also these days. And uh, I am also lucky that I am into this subject, and uh, I am just uh, assisting the. Uh, this administration of Anandalok Multi Specialty Hospital uh, for administration as well as hospital management. So, let us uh, talk about your journey into this uh, healthcare industry, sir. Uh, this is quite, uh, thank you, and um, this is quite interesting. Uh, uh, first, I should share that uh, um, I am just uh, very new to this uh, healthcare industry. Uh, I am basically a uh, engineering professional and i did my management and uh, and uh, almost uh, two decades i i served the uh, engineering industry uh, in india in, in asia and uh, middle east and uh, lastly i was in africa and uh, this is a very new assignment to me and it, it happened to me and uh, i'm just uh, very lucky so that i can just contribute my little uh, experiences behind the scene on the healthcare industry. So this is the way uh, I consider that it's a rebirth for me uh, in case I can help this healthcare industry to a new level with the help of uh, all my hospital staff, colleague and our MD. Uh, that's the and the environment. So it is very interesting to know, yeah. sir, that you have a diverse experience coming from an engineering, back, engineering background into a health industry. So two different industries, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. So what made you, sir, venture out completely from an engineering field into a healthcare industry? Yeah, sir? this is a very, uh, um, I, I should say it's very, uh, um, there is a coincidence. Actually, what happened that uh, I was, uh, got connected or I'm connected to this uh, hospital because there are some there are some upcoming uh, uh, projects so basically my background is projects and engineering i told you so that uh, that is my own area of work so yeah, I, I i i started with uh, principally that i will just look after that means projects and all and uh, honestly speaking this is my md dr sushant kumar Roy. he one day he just told that mm, why don't you just uh, think of you know mm, uh, uh, not joining that uh, assisting the administration of hospital management part so i just uh, uh, just replied him to back that i don't have any experience like uh, i don't have any experience it's, 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 it's a different uh, industry this is on healthcare this is very serious talk engineers are you can you know, you know that this is more, more of a light lighter <laughs> yes, in talks and yes, uh, other things 
So, uh, but I, you know, uh, honestly speaking, he only told that, no, you did uh, your education, you have an experience, you are an MBA, why not, you, you will be able to, you be into the system, you st start learning. So, at this, uh, you know, experience, age and all, uh, uh, he's a person who has pushed me and, uh, and then slowly I started liking and uh, the juncture I joined this uh, administration and healthcare, that, that time it was a COVID situation just came. So it was a bigger challenge for me to learn, to perform, Achha. to motivate, to direct, to lead, to, you know, uh, control the cost, optimization of everything. So this is wonderful, something new, uh, new slate for me. This is a new slate. I need to write, I, I need to write something. Achha. Sir, I would just like to ask you, sir, how do you think is the healthcare sector going in a tier two cities like Siliguri? And especially talking about Siliguri, where we have a large population and the bed to population ratios don't match properly. So what is your look on that, sir? Yeah, yeah, this is very, uh, it is very basic fact. Infrastructure wide, uh, we are, uh, the city like uh, tier two cities and Siliguri is, uh, the demand is more, the supply is less. And uh, you understand that hospital doesn't mean that uh, it's not an infrastructure or building, you know, in, uh, the main thing is uh, doctors, nurses, paramedical staffs and uh, uh, and, uh, and uh, supported uh, by so many functions. So, um, it's, it's, I, I always say that it's a big orchestra means you know, because this is something which is, uh, um, uh, I'm not telling anything that other industries are not challenging, but this industry uh, uh, need to work with the human engineering. So. You have to be very careful about what you are talking so you're about. You're talking like a sir, like a musical band, sir. Absolutely. But Absolutely. Different people... One tune goes wrong, yeah, yeah. then you Correct, are sir. out of the scenario. So you, there is no second thought that you will start, okay, I can do this job tomorrow. So everything is a dynamic, everything and the decision making is very fast. And of course, the other end person should be also equally equipped that they also reply to you the fast. So this is always a very dynamic situation. Uh, you know, uh, the Siliguri like place, I, I, I'm born here, right? Yes. I'm born here, so I know the Siliguri, how, how it mo how it's moving. So Siliguri might like place, the professionalism, the culture, it, it took time because it is yet to a uh, long way to go. But a lot of things are happening. Like I'm telling you, the campus, uh, beautiful campus, I'm in Insperia and all. Thank you so much, I'm amazed. I'm, I'm amazed. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, the way you are handling and you are, you are, the vision you are carrying for that. So, uh, uh, time will tell everything. So, uh, infrastructure wise, yes, I think uh, uh, if I'm not wrong, it is, uh, uh, if you ask me my personal, uh, the my expectation rate is matching maybe 60%. So, there's a big gap. This is an opportunity for, you know, this industry to grow. So, the, so, so in, in that case, the industry to grow means all the healthcare sector, hospital management, uh, uh, you know, uh, human resources also will be needed. So it's, it's a growth path. It's a growth path I see and uh, people are facing a lot of challenges here and we are also facing a lot of challenges to do, uh, you know, uh, whatever best we can do the patient care to the, uh, this thing. But there is a lot of opportunity, a lot of scope. Yeah. Yes. So this, uh, this question I believe would be very relevant for the students right now who are studying this hospital management already or who want to actually join or pursue hospital management as a, a full-time course sir. so so what is your advice and and what are the you know challenges would this student face you know Absolutely. if they want to be in this industry yeah so. see uh, uh, this is very practical in our you know society uh, 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 it is always it has been seen that in case your 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 uh, son or daughter is not an Doctor and engineer, your uh, people take pride, right? Yeah, so anyway, I'm an engineer, but uh, I'm I'm just telling you the real true story. Yes, sir. And uh, the parents they die for their uh, their kids to be join either engineering and uh, this uh, medical, medical sciences. Science, and medical science. And, and ultimately, what is happening? The uh, the standard deteriorates because a lot of colleges they come up and all these things. But incidentally, what I have observed that this particular course is so good for 10 plus 2 students okay, you need not to be very you know high ranker you need not to be uh, uh, you know uh, do a very you know a uh, lot of skills you need to adapt initially 
only thing you need a courage and only thing you need a you know a basic good human being for whom this 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 particular subject hospital management fits the best so can, so, can you just uh, yeah. just interrupting short yeah. can you just repeat because since this is a very vital information for the students Correct. can you just uh, repeat it for the you know students means what is the basic thing that you think okay that you say what are the, what are the expectation i have means what the students yes, should, sir. should go through just a 10 plus 12 degree hmm. 10 plus 12 degree they can they can join this course and uh, uh, I think, I, I don't know, uh, uh, is biology is a mandatory you need to add on or it, it's not required? No, no sir. Uh, in, it's a management. So we just have it's a one, management. Uh, it's a management course. It's management. But yes, they do teach you a bit of medical terminology. Medical terminology. So, yes. so basically to have an understanding of the medical so, terms and you know, the general general jargon that we jargon. use in the hospital industry to get it, to get the students accustomed yeah, yeah. to that. They can, they can, because, because there are many, 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 many students available and after 10 plus 2, the parents, they th also think that what course they should join, whether fashion technology, because those names are very commonly heard, like you know, fashion sense. technology or something called, uh, you know, uh, design or something like that. But uh, hospital management, uh, you know, there is something uh, which uh, is very, very particular in this scenario. Education is the first thing you need to educate people that what hospital management correct, sir. Correct, is, sir. is as a subject. Correct, sir. What value you can add to yourself first and what value you can add to the society. And when I'm talking about the add to society, even in my experience, I'm telling you the amount of satisfaction this hospital management students, in case they believe them in their, themselves, uh, this is amazing. Means uh, this is you are you are doing, uh, you are you are professionally uh, doing this course. You are working somewhere. You are going uh, uh, getting a decent pay, and more of a bonus. Someone is telling it is called emotional reward. Very nice. So nice. this is something which will give you a satisfaction which you only the person who is studying this subject, he or she will be knowing. So so. Where we are gapping, you and me, we need to just, you know, uh, you know, talk to uh, wherever there is a possibility somebody is looking for what subject they should choose. This is our basic duty, giving back to the society that this is another subject that they should sincerely think of. Okay, sir. So you believe, sir, that the, in, the, in the coming times, in the, especially pertaining to, to this scenario that we are facing of the epidemics and all, the healthcare sector is definitely going for a boom. Absolutely. So we have a lot I, of I, yeah. op job opportunities, a lot I, of... Uh, yeah. scope for the students in the long run uh, i'll give you data like uh, in 2000, 2025 there will be a requirement of 3 lakh 50 thousand beds in uh, entire country and you you will be surprised that in this uh, 2 lakh 50 thousand beds the amount of patient will be generated is 1 crore 70 thousand uh, 70 lakhs oh, that's a big number so sir. it's a big number now these are the uh, i'm talking about the doctors will be needed you know, nurses will be the paramedical. What about the, you know, support staff? What about the administration? Where? What about the hospital management students? So just imagine yes, the, 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 the quantum of people will be needed to do this uh, healthcare support for the, uh, this all these hospitals, you have nursing homes and all this, uh, you know, uh, all these different uh, uh, healthcare facilities uh, cut across the country that will be there. So this is a big boom is coming. Sir, uh, this is also a very interesting question. Since you have come and have a expertise over two different industries, do you think that the healthcare industry has an advantage over the other industries you know, in terms of your performance? Yeah, I tell you because uh, 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 till that time I, know I didn't join this healthcare. I used to be very, you know, uh, proud that uh, engineering is a uh, you know maximum you know in the in the growth of a country that uh, that the contribution of engineering is very high and uh, and i was studying an article that in the united states in the united states in the recent scenario the maximum amount of job creation is on the healthcare they have crossed the engineering as well as the retail uh, market okay. so it's the highest numbers the healthcare uh, demand has increased in such a way so I am again lucky. I have just changed from that subject to healthcare. So, so this is also we are leading. lucky so, to have uh, expertise like you yeah, in the healthcare yeah, industry, sir. Yeah. So we all honoured for that. A positive uh, thought and uh, it is it is it is very noble. It is very noble uh, uh, 
you can do lot of things lot of things uh, if you feel about the patient care and hospital management as a subject because you are actually giving uh, in a direct hand giving back to society you are serving them yes. every industry has its own everybody is serving but your hospital and management subject is actually a serving on the we are serving, we are serving the human kind the absolutely man. directly directly so this is a very important question in terms of the current scenario that you are facing sir sir what would do you think is the you know, impact of covid 19 epidemic on the healthcare sector do you think healthcare sector has evolved or got better or it has been challenged sir what is your perspective on this yeah very uh, uh, very practical and uh, very uh, very right questions you have asked because uh, i was just thinking you imagine the last year in 2020 2020 this time february you and me and nobody knew that uh, we are going to face a situation called covid but suddenly it came and uh, the entire world entire human being everybody has you know in a lot of dilemma a lot of frustrations what is what will happen first the your uh, health community health and what will happen to this uh, human being for the entire uh, world but coming back to our anandalok hospital multi specialty hospital i can just tell you uh, you know it's a real test it was a real test for all health health worker the doctors and uh, you know people's mental agony has gone to in case it is now here one patient is sick somebody is coming and shouting and it is covid you know mental agony has gone in such a level and you need to be very calm and cool to you know handle the situation and you know uh, give a uh, uh, give a hope to them that everything will be all right knowing that my sisters my nurses are inside a critical care room where it's not been touched just imagine yes sir and i'm telling you we are proud though you have heard of lot of places that sisters and nurses that plead away or they are demanding safety and all and we anandalok hospital nobody uh, everybody perform their duties so it is why because of the culture because of the hospital culture because of our mission vision and all because we as an organization wanted to you know perform ourselves uh, whether it will be our big name or not nobody thought it is thought is a mission that we are in the service industry we have to survive ourselves and and we have to give hope to the people so uh, i have seen lot of situations people the way people have worked our, our housekeeping you imagine then they need to go and you know pick up those uh, infected samples infected samples from the uh, critical ward you know though they are in pp kit and all but I, i tell you just imagine not only just for pay they are doing this so the value they are giving to the human being because he or she because we have housekeeping all i mean men and women both are there but not for survival they thought that we, we should serve the society so what i can say the stretch level of a person's psychology and mentality you can test there you can test there so you, you need to you need to work extra hours you to stretch your mind such that you can just handle the extremities so uh, in one word i can say the god has tested us how much stretch we can uh, you know do to give a helping hand to the, our patient care yes, so sir. that is a wonderful thing now i think uh, now we cherish we talk sometimes though touch wood, it is not gone fully but we just we 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 we, 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 we we recollect different situations different uh, public uh, coming in a uh, lot of arrogance and how we handled and uh, this is something a journey this is a journey we we face and we 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 have we are we have we are more knowledgeable now we have more equipped now mm-hmm. that much i can tell you it has it has given a lot of lessons to us sir uh, i would like to ask you sir if you have any kind of message for our upcoming budding hospital entrepreneurs and students correct any message that you want to you know give it to them so that they can grow further in this field you know correct 
<laughs> See, uh, yeah. And create a niche for them for yeah. themselves in this industry. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, uh, we are. I, th I think we are closing our our uh, discussion, right? Yeah. Uh, so this is the last question. Uh, and yeah. With this, uh, yeah, we can yeah. close. Yeah, our yeah. I just wanted to share that. Yes, uh, uh, let us be very clear. Uh, means uh, uh, how I can become a hospital. Uh, management expert means i means i am taking about myself also not and as well as you means you means i so uh, there are some lot of pluses more and minus is less so i just wanted to tell you that the pluses are pluses are you are serving the mankind that is above all the humanities most important things god has given you a birth and you have to serve the society. That is your uh, first and foremost duty. And uh, second thing, you should be ethical and you should be honest because there is no shortcut to this course. No shortcuts, not only this in, on study and only this in practical field. You have to work extra hours. That means you can think that you will get extra money whether you are getting an extra pay or not this is an extra hour you can stretch yourself so that you can take more responsibility lot of opportunities i should tell my friends uh, there are few opportunities besides hospital also can join there are a lot of old age homes are coming up sophisticated old age. they need hospital management students i know there are a lot of especially young ladies or girls students you you really think over caring people you have ngos you have information specialists in hospital management you have marketing you have a lot of pharmaceutical companies they are looking for people like you and i am telling you it's, it's growing by 20 percent the industry this industry only thing you should be ethically right ethically right and ethically right you have to study and above all, always remember that you are, you are serving to the mankind. The reason you have come to this earth. And this is the message to all of you. And uh, do well. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So, dear audience and the stu dear students, with this question, we have come to the end of this session. And we had a wonderful time shooting and this educative video. I hope you all enjoyed it the way we enjoyed well, you know having sir on stage with us. Thank you so much. And you it was a great learning questions. experience for me as a person, as an interviewer, and I really wish the best to Dr. Minmoy Das for his future endeavors. Thank you, sir, Thank for being so a much. part of the Inspiria. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.